Hey guys, so I want to go over a question and answer with you today. Recently, I just got back into weight training and I was interested in how many calories does one pound of muscle burn resting per day? So I did a quick Google search. The first thing comes up is, oh, 50 calories per extra one pound you gain in muscle, which is absurd. That's very inaccurate. So what I did, and then I looked some more, I looked on YouTube, I looked on Google, and I didn't find like a real clear cut answer. So I kind of came up with my own philosophy and it's it's gotta be way more accurate than the 50 calories per one pound. So this is what I did. And the answer, it, it comes out to about 10 to 15 calories per one pound. So this is how I came up with that. So I took my body weight, I'm just under 240 pounds right now. And, but let's say I'm 240 pounds and let's say I'm 30% body fat, like assuming like the calculators you use online. Let's say I'm 30% I'm body fat, I'm 240 pounds, so and my resting burn calories per day is 2,500 calories. So what you're gonna do is take that 2,500 divided by 168, because that's what my 70% of muscle would be. Assuming that fat doesn't burn any calories, what you're gonna come up with is like, say 14.8 calories per pound. So, that's how I came up with that. Now, I took Dwayne Johnson and I used him as an example too to kind of verify this. Again, this is better than the 50 calories per one pound method. It's It's gotta be closer and hopefully I'm adding to YouTube. Hopefully I'm giving some good information. So, anyways, I took Dwayne Johnson. You Google, how many calories does Dwayne Johnson burn in a day? They say 5,000 calories. Okay, so let's break this down. You take Dwayne Johnson, uh, he's 260 pounds. He's probably, I don't know, five to 7% body fat. But let's just assume he's 260 pounds of muscle. Okay, so you do 260 times 15, you're gonna get 3,900 calories at resting burn calories per day. Then, Dwayne Johnson, he probably really only puts in about two about two hours in the gym, like five, six days a week. Okay. So, and when you're putting that much time in the gym, somebody at his size probably is burning about 1,100 calories in that workout every day. So that would put him at about 5,000 calories per day. So that's probably the closest, most accurate um, method I can come up with. And I, I believe it's pretty spot on. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is how many pounds can you gain in a year doing weight training? So I've looked this up as well. So a newbie can expect to gain if you're training really hard, push to failure, and let's say you know you're in the 180, 200 pound range. For for women and for smaller guys, it's going to be probably a little bit less, but you can you can put on about 25 pounds of muscle per year in your first year. Second year, you're going to drop down to about 10 pounds of muscle in that year. Third year, about five or six. Fourth year, you're going to hit about two, two pounds. You're going to plateau. Um, fourth, fifth, sixth year, you're going to be putting on about two pounds a year. Which is why guys who train really hard get into steroids. Because you can gain about eight to ten pounds in a month or in a cycle or something like that. Which is insane. People think steroids is like a miracle drug and it's actually not. Even, I'm not saying I'm pro for or against steroids, but that's really a whole nother video, but I'll just sum this up real quick. If even going on steroids, you wanna drop down to about seven to eight percent body fat, train, plateau, and then jump on a steroid cycle and then gain eight to 10 pounds, but for the rest of your life, you're gonna have to stay on steroids to keep those gains and to keep making gains. So it's kind of a choice you gotta make. But the reason I would be pro steroids is when you're 18, your testosterone starts out here. As you go down and down and down, or as you age, your testosterone production goes down and down and down. So when you're 40, 50 years old, your your testosterone is down here. You can go to a doctor and say, "Hey, I want to be at where I should be when I was 18, or optimal, or whatever." That's that's why I'd be pro steroids. I would not be pro like you know illegal steroid use. But again, that's a decision you'd make, and you'd be on steroids for the rest of your life. And you know, is the cost. You know, worth that thing, and of course, the side effect it shrinks your reproductive organs. Which, who cares? Nobody sees the reproductive organs. Usually, it's you. You got a shirt on and ah, well, like buff. So, but anyways, that's that's for somebody to decide. I wouldn't recommend anybody, you know, in their twenties or probably even young thirties going on steroids. Anyways, calories per pound. So, 
let's say you gain, you make these newbie gains in your first two years and you hit 35 pounds of weight gains in your first year. That is going to put you at about, okay, the 15 calorie method is going to put you at 500 calories extra per day. So for me, 2,500, that put me to about 3,000 calories per day. And if I'm trying to lose weight, it would put me at about 52 pounds of weight loss per year, having that extra 500 calories a day. Go on the lower end, say uh, 10 calories per, per pound of muscle, then you say about one pound per every 10 days, because you'd be about 3,600, an extra 3,600 calories burned um, every 10 days, because you'd be about extra 300, 60 calories, something like that, which would be, I hope I'm saying all this right, no, 350, so an extra pound every 10 days, anyways, about 36 pounds a year is what that would work out to you, if I got all my math right, I could be a little off, anyways, hopefully, that wasn't too confusing, hopefully that helps you get an idea of what one extra pound of muscle actually burns in a day so you can hit the hit the gym hard do the weight training hard get those extra pounds burn all those extra calories i call it like putting in little condos in my body <laughs> costs more um and so it's cool it's whatever you're in it for if you want to eat more or you're just trying to cut down or just stay lean so that way you can eat more and that sort of thing you, you see dwayne johnson's post he's eating like piles of pancakes this big it's just kind of neat to be able to if you like food and i like food so <laughs> that's been my problem with weight in my life now i'm trying to do vegan which is a whole nother thing but being a vegan if you do vegan with no salt oil sugar sos free vegan diet you can pretty much eat whatever you want and the, the food is so calorie not dense i don't know the word more calorie sparse it's it's so calorie sparse that you can just pretty much eat whatever you want which is what I love about it because I love to eat so anyways guys we got it how many calories does one pound of muscle burn while it just rests I'm gonna say between 10 and 15 calories per pound so that's it thanks for watching